Masked teen attempts to rob 67-year-old man in woods pays the price. Of all the gunshots cases, this one marks a special point. The unusual case involved an unnamed 67-year-old robbery victim and the 18-year-old Tyler Williams from West Philadelphia. The incident went viral and received considerable national attention after the teen made a fatal mistake. After spotting the 67-year-old man walking down the woods on his own at Cobbs Creek Park, Tyler decided to run ahead and confront the old guy for cash and demand cash as ABC6 reported. Tyler was armed with a loaded gun. In order to actually get cash from the intimidated old man, he intended to make his victim believe that his life was in actual danger when threatened by his gun, one that was actually nothing but a toy, according to NBC10. Unfortunately for Tyler, he did succeed in making the 67-year-old man believe that his life was legitimately threatened. In broad daylight, the masked robber approached the older man, he pointed what later turned out to be a pellet gun in his face after which a brief physical altercation ensued, one that Tyler didn't see coming. The older man grabbed Tyler's firearm, deflected it away from his head, as he pulled out his own .38 caliber handgun. Fearing for his life, the man shot Tyler Williams in the head, which dropped him to the ground. The 67-year-old then left the woods and immediately called the police. When the police got there, they were surprised to find out that the gun Tyler had used in the attempted robbery was actually a fake out. To the old man's defense, even the police thought the pellet gun was real until they got a closer look at it, according to Upper Darby Police Superintendent Michael Chitwood. Young Tyler died at the scene. He was found in possession of the pellet gun, a mask, and half a dozen cell phones on him. According to the Delco Times, the shooting was ruled justifiable after it was determined that the intended robbery victim was a concealed weapons license holder who had no previous criminal record. Even though the old man was initially taken to a local hospital with chest pains after the armed encounter, he made a full recovery and got back to his normal routine shortly. With the shooting ruled an appropriate act of self-defense, he didn't face any criminal charges. While most applaud the 67-year-old for being brave enough to defend himself, many others condemn the fact that he was able to defend his life with a loaded firearm. They claim to be troubled by the fact that a young adult with a fake gun is dead only because an armed citizen was able to use lethal force to stop a crime committed against him. However, there are a few important things that need to be pointed out here. What appeared to be a lethal firearm was pointed at this man's head, and even the police didn't realize it was only a pellet gun until they inspected it closely. Moreover, Tyler wanted the man to believe his toy was the real deal. It was his intention to make the 67-year-old believe his life was in danger. He succeeded, but to his great misfortune, he didn't get the result he had intended. We also have to mention something of very significant importance about what so many news outlets are calling a fake or toy gun. The gun was a pellet gun, which means that it was a real gun, only it isn't typically lethal against humans. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission has reports of about four deaths per year caused by BB guns or pellet rifles. According to a CPSC safety alert, the risk of death is increased if you are hit in the eye or head. This gun, which is not a simple gun toy, no matter what the NBC headline says, was pointed at the robbery victim's face, the one many people accuse of killing the young Tyler, who had a very justified reaction, as both police and law forces confirmed. Everyone should be able to walk on a path in the woods of a park in total safety without having any sort of guns, fake or not, pointed at them. Perhaps if more of them come to realize that their criminal acts might cost them a bitter price, which can be their own life, they might think twice before pointing arms at other people.